Hi everyone, Dexter here. Today I'm going to discuss the new rules on Action Publiciana or Recovery of Possession. Action Publiciana, the original provision uh, which states that the plenary action to recover the right of possession which should be brought in the proper regional trial court when this possession has lasted for more than one year was already repealed by the case of Kinagoran versus Court of Appeals. GR number 155179, dated August 24, 2007. So the Supreme Court ruled that the doctrine on which the RTC anchored its denial of petitioner's motion to dismiss, as affirmed by the Court of Appeals, that all cases of recovery of possession or action publiciana lies with the regional trial courts, regardless of the value of the property, no longer holds true. So... Uh, hindi na exclusive jurisdiction ng RTC ang action publisya na. Okay? So, it is tough when the Supreme Court clarified. So, hindi na incapable yung action publisya na. Hindi na siya incapable of pecuniary estimation. So, capable na siya. So, real uh, real action na siya. So, according to Republic Act number no. 7691, in all civil actions which involve the title to or possession of real property or any interest therein, where the assessed value of the property involved exceeds, if it exceeds 20,000 pesos, or for civil actions in Metro Manila, where such value exceeds 50,000 pesos, except for forcible entry into an unlawful detainer of lands or, bu or buildings. So... If hindi siya forcible entry, kung action publisya na siya, so depende sa value ng property. Nung before August 20, 2021, so kung more exceeds sa 20,000 sa provinces or exceeding 50,000 sa NCR, sa RTC and jurisdiction. So until... Itong bago, yung Republic Act number no. 11576. So, na-increase na yung jurisdiction ng 20,000 and 50,000. So, 400,000 na. If it's exceeding 400,000, doon yung jurisdiction sa RTC. So, pag mababa sa 400,000 ngayon, sa first level ang jurisdiction. So, re real action na yung action publisya na. So, yung... Kung meron sa inyo na uh, naidakit na yung action publisya na as incapable, so kung sa inyo sa RTC na i-file ng party and jurisdiction nyo pa rin naman yung case dahil kung more than 400,000 yung assessed value, so ang remedy doon, inform yung judge to order yung party to pay the deficiency. So, as real action, kasi as kung incapable yung dinakit nyo, 2,000 lang yung, yung na-collect nyong filing fee. So, magkakaproblema lang dyan kung uh, mas mababa sa 400,000. Kung sa first level yung jurisdiction, so sa, second, sa RTC na i-file, as incapable, so pwedeng ma-dismiss yun for lack of jurisdiction. Pero, without prejudice naman yun. Kung so, pwedeng i-refile na ang party. So, ganun yung magyayari dyan. Okay. To differentiate action in publishana with action interdictal, so, ejectment actions, which is the forcible entry and unlawful detainer under action interdictal, must be brought in the proper metropolitan trial courts, municipal trial court in cities, municipal trial courts, or municipal circuit trial courts within one year from the date of actual entry on the LAD, if in the case of forcible entry, and from the date of last demand in the case of unlawful detainer. Okay? So, in action publishana, the plenary action to recover the right of possession which should be brought in the proper court when this possession has lasted for more than one year. So, hindi na, sa, sa, hindi na lang sa RTC, not exclusively for RTC's jurisdiction. So, depending ngayon sa assess value ng property. So, ang action interdictal within the jurisdiction of met, 
MTC, MTCC, MTC, or MCTC. In action publisya na, so, depende nga sa access value of the property. It's a real action now, not an incapable of pecuniary estimation. So, meron tayong problem. I prepared some hypothetical facts of an action publisya na case. Okay? On August 31, 2021, Dr. Uh, Mr. Don Mayaman filed an action publisya na with damages against his spouses Susilito de la Cruz and his spouses Marianito de la Cruz who had been occupying his vacant property with the assessed value of 850,000 pesos for three years now. So Don Mayaman prayed that number one, defendants be ordered to vacate the premises of his property. Second, to pay a monthly compensation of 4,000 pesos per month for the first year, 5,000 pesos for the second year, and 6,000 pesos for the third year. And third, to pay litigation costs of 200,000 pesos and attorney's fees of 100,000 pesos. So, how much should Mr. Don Mayama need to pay? So, first thing to do, alilamin natin kung saan yung jurisdiction ng kaso. So, action publisya na is a real action. Ang titingnan natin yung assess value ng property. So, itong assess value is 850,000 pesos. So, required na state sa petition ang assess value ng property pag real action so and then going to demand so you ask the party the petitioner to provide the tax declaration para ma-check natin kung tama ba yung nilagay na assessed value doon sa petition so yung 850,000 pesos granting na correcto so ang jurisdiction saan sa RTC ang jurisdiction nito kasi more than 400,000 pesos so, I prepared a computation in Excel form. I'll show you the computation. Okay, here is the Excel computation. So, the action publishan na case, it's real action. Real action. Okay, for second level court, so the jurisdiction, the uh, assess value is 850,000 pesos. So, the jurisdiction is the, in the RTC. Okay. So, this is the procedure, computation procedure. So, alam nyo na to. I used this procedure also in the previous uh, video tutorial. So, determine the highest value of the property for real action. So, ang assess value, 850,000. So, uh, assuming ang fair market value is 900,000 and the zonal value is 1 million. So, whichever is higher sa tatlo, 1 million ang susundin natin. Then, may damages na hinihingi siya. So, yung gusto niyang bayaran siya ng 4,000 for first year. Dalawa yung defendant. Okay? So, times 2. So, 4,000 times 12 sa so isang taon times 2. Then, plus, ito yung 5,000 times 12 times 2. Plus, yung 6,000 sa ikatird year. Times 12 times 2. Okay? Then, merong 100,000 attorney's fees, litigation expenses, cost na 200,000. So, ang total amount involved is 1 million plus this one is 1 million 660,000. So, pag-compute niyan, ang 400 may 1,850 na. Okay? So, sa taas, 1,850. So, plus yung equivalent nung in excess of 400,000 pesos. So, yung B, itong B18, 1.6, less 400,000 pesos. So, for every 1,000 is 8 pesos para sa JDF. So, ganyan yung formula. So, 11,930 yung sagot dito. So, ganun din. Same procedure sa SAGE. Pero ang SAGE is 2,650 yung sa 400,000. 2,650 ang sa 400,000 niya. So, kukunin mo yung every 1,000 naman in excess of 400,000 ng SAGE is 12 pesos. Okay? So, 17,770 ang sagot nun. So, 29,700 ang filing fee. Plus, 400 pesos kasi dalawang party. So, months. Okay. Then, LRF, dito lang magbibay sa filing fee sa 29,700. 
8 plus 500, 5 pesos. So, ang total docket fees or legal fees, 30,902. So, plus 1,000, hindi fee ang STF. So, kaya, total amount to be paid is 31,902. Okay? So, ito yung babayaran ni Don Mayaman. And, dapat, merong uh, legal fees form. Okay? Ito. So, importante ito ang ita-attach sa case folder. So, nakanote sa baba ang amount involved, 1,660,000. Kasi baka pag natapos yung case, i-award mas malaki sa sa claims niya. Dami yes, kung mas malaki yung i-award ng court, so, magkailangan magbayad ng deficiency ni Don Mayaman. Okay? So, for the sake of planning the procedure, the computation procedure for first level courts, so, Nag-prepare din ang computation for first level courts. Uh, assuming na hindi 850,000 naman yung, yung assess value. Kunyari, 100,000 lang. So, may 215 per market value, 350 yung zonal value. So, ganito how you should compute the legal fees. So, Ganun din, may 2 summons fee dito. Gamitin natin tong provision sa 7A na in excess uh, for each 1,000, in excess of 400,000. So, 8 pesos yung sa JDF, 12 pesos yung, yung sa SAJ. So, ang magiging formula ngayon, ganito. So, 850, hindi na the jump back. So, uh, plus, yun in excess of 400, for every 1,000, may 8 pesos. Okay? So, ang JDF is 6,730. Okay? Sa, sa SAGE naman, ganun din, 3,150 plus yung excess of 400 divided by 1,000, for every 1,000, 12 pesos ang sa SAGE. Okay. So, ang total ngayon is 10,470. So, total filing fee is 17,200. 400 ng summons fee. So, ang LRF is based lang dito sa filing fee. So, 500 MF, VCF. So, 18,277 ang docket or legal fee. So, 1,000. Ang total amount to be paid ni Mr. Don Mayaman, 19,277. So, ganyan lang kadali ang pag-compute ng real action ng action publisya na. Okay? So, dapat may legal fees form din yan. Okay? So, uh, para share natin sa ibang class of course to, para yung na-inform natin na before na incapable siya, so hindi na siya incapable of kanyari estimation, real action ng action publisya na. So, ito na rin yung ilalagay na computation doon sa ating judiciary e-payment. Kapag action publish yan na, pipiliin nyo lang yung real action. So, automatic na yung computation. Ilalagay lang yung amount involved doon. Okay? Alright, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you may consider sharing and make sure to subscribe for more. Bye!